Oh, no. Nuggets. Um, I originally thought I was going to say nuggets at the start of every one. I don't know. I'm getting bored of it. Um, all right. So I wanted to make a video today about how I noticed there's a difference. I, okay. I wish that my physical activity matched my mental activity. Because physically, I'm a very lazy person. I live a sedentary lifestyle. Um, I have a gym membership that I haven't gone to in God knows how many months. I mean, I just I'm I'm just a very lazy person. You know, I'm the guy that you want to point to and say, "Get off your ass, you lazy fuck!" You know, do something. But I don't have that mentally. I'm like, so I can't just sit and watch TV. I can. That's not fair. I binge watch stuff. But my wife and I will sit down. She knows I've got two hours in me and then I got to do something else. I just can't sit there anymore. But something else might be playing a game, right? Or developing a game or writing or surfing the web or doing whatever, going on Reddit. It doesn't matter what it is. The point is just sitting and vegging in front of the TV. I can't do it anymore. I just, my, my brain is craving for some interactions. Why I love games. You know, gaming is not about just escape for me. It's not about... Um, it's not about just being lazy. It actually isn't. It's activity. But it's mental activity. So while the body gets fatter and you just, you know, I'm just like just wasting this, <laughs> wasting my life away on this. It is the one of the only activities that truly accelerates my brain. Like it, it fulfills me completely. The only thing that fulfills me more than playing games is making games. You know, if I'm in Unreal Engine or Unity or one of those kind of things, that is very comprehensive as far as the brain activity is concerned you're creating you're using both halves of the brain you're making stuff you're making art you're you're changing colors you're adapting things and then there's the logical part of the brain where you're obviously you're dealing with the logic of the game but you're also organizing you're structuring the thing that you're creating um, which is very different from many other creative forms that i know of where you know usually those processes are separated when i'm writing I structure first, so I get the form, I get all the boxes that I want to put everything in, and then I write it, and that's entirely creative, you know, using those boundaries. Whereas game dev, you're constantly in between those two things, or at the same time, you know. So it fulfills my brain. I can't do that in front of the television. And I love TV, you know. I love, you know, we're in a golden age of television right now, American and British, and actually worldwide television. There's great shows in Denmark, in Sweden, and France, Germany, wherever you go. We're in a golden age of television. And I love it. There's some wonderful things out there to watch. But I can't really do more than two hours. You know, we just finished watching, there's a new Sasha Baron Cohen show called The Spy. It's a limited series. I think it's six episodes, five episodes. But it's fantastic. It's beautifully made. It's a fascinating story. I do one, I get to the end of one, and I'm itching. I'm like, I gotta go, I gotta go do. I can't do this anymore. I gotta go. I gotta go from this chair to a different chair to sit around and do fuck, fuck all. But I wish, I wish there was a way to switch that over to my physical desire for change, my physical desire to move and to exercise, because I I crave mental exercise all the time. I just I can't be in here without it doing something. You know, it's one of the reasons I can't sleep at night. It's one of the reasons why I can't sit in front of the television. I get tense when I'm at movies, and I used to love the movies. So I eat at the movies, because although that, there's part of that is a mental activity, right? It's the, I'm not just watching the movie, I'm also doing this, and I'm also like, I'm fidgety. I, I need to do something. But I don't know how I turn that mental drive into a physical drive, and it's something I really need to work on, because the truth is... At my weight, right, 270, 75 pounds, I haven't weighed myself for a while, but I'm about that. At my age, nearly 50, 49 and a half, right, um, this is basically, I'm putting myself in the last 10, 15 years of my life at this rate. I'm going to have a heart attack in my 60s, right? Uh, not Maybe not 10, 15. If I'm lucky, maybe a little bit longer. But the point is, I'm, my life expectancy is drastically reduced because of my obesity, could be tomorrow you know the way i've got to fix it is i've got to get physically more healthy so i've got to deal with my food addiction and i got to deal with but it's it's more than that it's it's my inability to get up and go do something like every time i've got to go walk the dogs it's a draw it's a strain every time i want to turn my computer on and open up a 
program that's creative, it's a desire. I'm straight in there. But walking, I oh, hate it. Just have to do it because I need to be a good dog owner, you know. Yeah. I wonder how other people deal with this. Or if they don't, maybe that's why we have this obesity problem in, you know, the Western world. I used to say just America, but everywhere's fat now, you know. Well, England. <laughs> we're fat in England, we're fat here, fat in Mexico. We're fat. Uh, we're getting fatter. That's the point. We're getting fatter in China. So, I don't know, maybe that's the problem. Is the is the is that inability to just drive it home and just and my wife and I are terrible for each other because we're we're just constantly encouraging each other, you know we're we're the we're always the devil on each other's shoulders. Should we go get McDonald's? Let's go get an ice cream. Let's go get frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt's healthy, isn't it? And then you put tons of toppings on and you know. Anyway, yeah, you have any ideas about how I can? change my mental approach to my physical self i would love to hear it because i don't know what to do i've tried trainers i've at once i just hate that i don't like personal trainers i don't like it because i have to interact with people and i don't really you know i like choosing that very specifically um and i'm not very good at accountability when it comes to stuff like that i prefer to drive myself the problem and i do very successfully in everything except this not in everything that's a lie but you know, maybe that's the problem. Maybe I just covered up my problem there. Oh, shit, sure, I think about that. I think I'm doing okay and I'm not. Maybe I do need to find a way to accept help on this. Get a... Someone just basically come into my room every day and stop eating! Stop eating and get up! That's it. All right, if you have any solutions, I would greatly welcome them. All four of you. All right, bye.